In this video, you're going to see how to create an if statement in Excel Python. Keep in mind that Python is only available to users with the 365 Insiders version of Excel. In this example, we have a list of sales rep names along with their monthly sales figures. We're going to use a Python if statement to create a sales commission hierarchy output. Any rep who sells $10,000 or more gets a 7% bonus. Any rep that gets more than 7,500 but less than $10,000 receives a 5% bonus. For any sales figure less than 7,500, the rep receives a 3% bonus. In a cell to the right, we'll hit equals, input the letters P and Y, and hit tab to create a Python input cell where our code will live. Following that, we'll input the acronym DF and then equals and select our data range. This is short for data frame because this is where we'll store our data set. Next, on a new line, we'll type DEF, which is short for define. Here we're defining a custom function that we'll call custom function. Inside parenthesis, we'll list a variable that we'll call X. X will represent the monthly sales amount. On the next line, we need to hit tab and then insert our if statement. Our first test checks to see if our monthly sales figure is $10,000 or greater. If it is, we want to return an output of the monthly sales variable times 7%. On the next line, hit tab and use the keyword return, followed by our X sales variable times 7%. After that, we have our next condition that begins with the letters ELIF. This is short for else if. Make sure to indent with tab the same way as before. Here we input our next threshold, anything greater than or equal to $7,500. When an amount meets this threshold, we multiply our X variable times 5%. For everything else that does not meet our first two criteria, we want to multiply our variable times 3%. We begin with the keyword else. Following that, we come down a line, indent with tab, and list the keyword return followed by x times 3%. In our next line of code, we'll create a new column on the end of our original data frame. We'll begin by referencing our data frame acronym. Inside a set of brackets and single quotes, we'll list our new column name bonus. We'll set this new column equal to the month-to-date sales column of our data frame. Following our column reference, we'll use the apply method which allows us to reference and apply the custom function we created earlier to each value in our sales column. Finally, we come down on a new line and reference our data frame acronym to return our data frame, which now includes our bonus column. Hit Control and Enter to input this Python code. If this is your first time inputting the code, you may need to go up to the top left drop down list near the Python formula bar and select the option for Excel value. We now have our conditional bonus amount output column. We can check to see that the results are correct by dividing each bonus value by each sales amount value. Every rep with sales over 10,000 has a 7% bonus. Reps with at least 7,500 have a 5% bonus and all others have a 3% bonus. Now we'll add more scenarios to this example. We'll include a yes no column that indicates if a rep is commission based for getting a bonus. If a rep has yes, the commission is the same rate hierarchy as the previous example. If no, then the rep receives a flat $250 bonus regardless of how much they sell. Back in our code, we'll begin by changing the range of our data frame to include the commission-based column that we added to our data set. Next, we'll add a second variable to our custom function called Y, which will represent our commission-based yes-no column. At the beginning of our if statement, we'll insert a new condition to first test if our Y variable is equal to a value of no. If it is, we want to return a flat rate of $250. Following that, we'll change our previous if keyword to the if else acronym. Then we'll add a second criteria to this line 
to check and see if the commission base column variable is equal to a value of yes. We'll copy this part and paste it into our third if test. We'll also need to modify how we apply our custom function since we are now dealing with multiple columns. First, we'll remove the reference to our single month to date sales column. Then we'll insert the lambda function inside our apply method. Following that, we'll add a variable called row that represents each row in our data frame. For the X input of our custom function, we'll reference our row variable, followed by our month to date sales column. Next, we'll add a comma. For the Y input of our custom function, we'll again reference our row variable followed by a reference to our commission base column. Following that, we add a comma and then the keyword axis. We set this axis equal to a value of one. What the axis piece does is indicate what direction the apply operation is going across our records in. A value of one means to apply across the columns. A value of zero would apply across the rows. In other words, it applies our function across each column independently of each other, which is what's needed in this case, since we have different conditions for each of the columns in a given row. We now have our desired results. You can see for any rep who is not commission-based, the output is a flat fee of $250. For reps who are commission-based, the commission sales rate thresholds are applied. 